Dad's girlfriend just asked me what my love language is. She sucks. A big part of our story is about what's true at many weddings, which is two families come together, and having family around can be stressful. There's friction there. We're at our destination wedding when the movie opens, and basically nothing goes to plan. <laughs> Roles are reversed a little bit. Typically, the woman is the bridezilla. In this movie, I'm kind of that guy who is obsessed with making sure that everything goes off without a hitch. Why did you pick an island with no soul service? Because I wanted people to be present and in the moment. Like any good family wedding, there's some underlying drama. <laughs> you got my daughter rusty knives? It's your something borrowed. Darcy! Dad! I'm the father of uh, Darcy, the bride-to-be, and his ex-wife has been invited to and his girlfriend, and that always causes tension at a wedding. I need you to talk to your father's yoga teacher. Girlfriend? Yeah, oh, whatever. She keeps smiling at me. Can you tell her to stop smiling at me? Renata, she's very critical. Where is the groomzilla? Tom is not a groomzilla. Very judgment of everything. She is the kind of martini-toting, Chanel-wearing, you know, mother who looks down on everything. Sonia, who's just so brilliant and vivacious and full of life in her own way, she took that part and elevated it into something that <laughs> is funny and heartbreaking at the same time. Nice to see you, Dad. Hi. Uh, so yes. Let's just uh, stick with Robert for a little while. <laughs> right, Robert. Cheech is playing Jen Lopez, his dad and he hates me in the movie. He thinks she could do so much better. Tommy, she's not wearing any pants. Carol Fowler, which is the mother of Tom, she's a very simple woman. Man right out of my hair, I'm gonna wash that man right out of my hair and send him <laughs> on his way. <laughs> that sort of oblivious person. You look so much better than the rest of us. These families would never, ever be in the same city together, really. <laughs> and then the ex-boyfriend, he shows up with a helicopter. God, how does he just keep getting hotter? Looks like he's leading a porn safari. Sean is the ex-fiance. He still works with Darcy's father. It's so messy. Weddings become a show for everybody else. And it becomes about, you know, your, your mom and who wants to sit here and don't put me there. And the dresses are not that color. It's almost like you forget, like, why you're doing it when it really should just be a kind of celebration of love. And I think that's what they realize in the end. Mm-hmm.